hey guys welcome and this is bongo boots so today i want to show you guys the plugin i developed okay this plugin um was developed to solve the problem um in woocommerce you know um to solve the shipping zone problem in woocommerce when you're if you're very conversant with woocommerce you would know that woocommerce does not allow you to create shipping zone down you know deeply other than the state um, levels you can create like um, sh shipping zones for the city levels you can you know you can't just create um, the shipping zone other than the state levels so this plugin is like an arc into the system to make you to enable you to give their features okay for you to be able to create um, shipping zone for for multiple cities in a state okay so this is the plugin right here city levels for woocommerce is not activated yet um i just want us to see the default um woocommerce feature and what this plugin would be addressing so we'll head over to woocommerce and um to the shipping then um we see that okay there are no shipping zones here so we'll just add one so right here if you look at it if we go over to nigeria you notice that you know woocommerce just give this default you can't go deeply if you check lagos you just have lagos as a state you can't go down into lagos you can't go down into lagos so um what happens if you want to set the shipping zones for the lagos island zone lagos mainland zone or you want to go down into uh the lagos island zone like down into lekki ikoi aja you want to give different shipping zones for this area what happens okay so this is where this plugin comes into play so we go over to the plugin right now we're going to activate it okay it was created by me Ubongo Boat, so we're going to activate it we'll see right here it's activated so we go over to the shipping zone we'll just reload and you'll see that it's going to override all these Okay, so um, if we check Nigeria right now, we have just Lagos mainland, Lagos island, and other states. That was how I developed it. So we go to Lagos, Lagos island. Let's create it. Shipping zone for Lagos island. Then we add, add the flat rate shipping method. Then we edit it to give it an amount then let's just give it a thousand five hundred and um we'll save it okay i think we should just add one more shipping zone let's add the lagos mainland okay let's add lagos mainland Lagos mainland. Then we then we choose Lagos mainland. Let's give it a flat rate also. Mm, an amount, an amount. Let's say to five. Okay, that's that. And um, we save it. okay so right now we have the shipping zones created um let's see how it works we head over to the shop okay so let's just choose a product we add it to cart and um just proceed to um check out proceed to check out 
so right here if you see because it's already picking the Lagos main line is set to 2005 let's just give it um, contents right there and um, let's change this state to Lagos Island if you look at it you'll see that this is a thousand five hundred because it's been changed from Lagos Island to uh, from Lagos mainland to Lagos Island so remember we gave Lagos Island um, a flat rate an amount of a thousand five hundred and the Lagos mainland an amount of two thousand five so this is this playing out right now you can add multiple locations you can add multiple locations deep down you know the, the Lagos mainland uh, you can have places like Agege, Sulere, you can have places like Keja, you know, just different locations. And this is an awesome solution. This is an awesome solution. So I want you guys to head over to my GitHub, you know, download it, you know, just um, fork the project, okay? Then um, have it, clone it into your system, have it, and... Um, you know work on it work work on it just you know upload it into your um your product and um, your and um, your project and have the solution running for you have the solution running for you okay thank you guys for watching it was an awesome guys with it's an, it was an awesome time with you guys thank you so so much i really enjoyed this thank you